secret stores from Look Amazing. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys my closet decluttering and organization process. I moved not so long ago, but actually didn't get a chance to do anything with the closet until now. So I thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys some of my tips and tricks. And I'm also partnering with Poshmark on this video. If you guys don't know what Poshmark is, it's an app you can use to easily sell any of your fashion items. I've actually been a member since 2012 and I find it to be one of the easiest apps to use and I've been quite successful at selling the pieces that I've listed as well. So if you guys are interested, I have left a link in the description box for you guys to check out and download the app as well as see what I've posted to my closet. Aside from big events like moving, which really motivate me to clean out my closet, I like to try to do it at least once a year, but ideally I would love to do it every season. So right now I tend to do from the transition of summer to fall and typically I'll have my spring and summer clothes in the closet and then I'll do a clean out and then put in my fall and winter clothes and I think that's just worked really well for me given the size of my closet and the amount of pieces that I have. So I think it's around that back to school time frame. I'm no longer in school but I think it just reminds me of that time where you want to get ready for the new school year so I like to do the same with my closet. For my decluttering process I typically split it into three categories which are clothes, bags, and shoes. And clothes by far is the hardest for me and takes the longest, but I like to tackle that first. That way, that's when I have the most energy. So I like to create three piles on my bed. The first pile are the items that I plan to keep, and the second pile are the items that I plan to sell, and then lastly, the third pile are the items that I plan to donate. So I will go through my entire closet and decide where each item will go in one of those three piles. And during this process, I actually like to take some notes, and this makes me more thoughtful when I'm shopping again for new products, is what are the types of trends or patterns that I'm seeing of the pieces that are going into my donate or sell pile. In my donate pile this time, I do notice I have once again quite a few fast fashion pieces. So these are pieces that I've worn already in the season, taken photographs in, and since it's not made of such high quality, I don't think it will last another season. So that's why I tend to decide to donate it first while it's still an okay quality, that way someone else can enjoy it. I also notice a lot of those free t-shirts that I get from events and I always take them thinking, oh, maybe I'll need it if I'm cleaning or I'm doing something where I don't want to get my clothes dirty, but I have collected a ton and I never wear them. So note to self, stop collecting those free t-shirts. So the items in my sell pile, so these are items that are always tend to be more of higher quality because I did spend more on them. And as you can see, I do have a lot of denim. I'm a huge fan of denim, which I always tend to try to invest in. And these unfortunately no longer fit me or the style is no longer as flattering. I did lose some weight. So I think it's a good time to let them go. And the other clothing items seem to be ones that I didn't get to wear as often as I'd like. So maybe they were occasion based or items that I had duplicates of. So something already similar in my closet. So I just wore the other one more. So yeah, that's kind of what I've seen in my patterns so far this time in my clothing clean out. So now moving on to my bag. So for me, bags is a category that I like to invest in. So I tend to go for more medium to premium designer brands, which means I don't really have a donate pile. So the way I decide whether to keep a handbag or decide to try and sell it is if I have used a handbag in the past year or if I plan to use it in the next coming year. And if it doesn't fall into either of those two, I then decide to try and sell it. So for me, I've noticed the handbags that have stayed with me year after year tend to be the ones that are either an iconic style such as the Chanel flat bag or they are a classic color such as black, white, beige, or tan. Those are the ones that I consider to be in my core collection and I tend to always use them sometime throughout the year. The ones in the cell pile tend to be the ones where I wanted a pop of color and I just don't see myself wearing it as much in the future. And that's exactly the case with this beautiful Michael Kors one. I just really fell in love with this pale blue color and just wore it a lot that season in the spring and I actually wore it on a trip so I got a lot of beautiful photos with this bag so now I just think it's time to part with it and someone else can enjoy it. Now onto the shoes category. For me it's very similar to bags where I tend to invest 
more in shoes and I can see myself wearing year after year and I'm all about comfort so if I find a nice comfortable pair of shoes I'm willing to invest in it and that's why I also don't have a donate pile. So what ended up in my sell pile this time is this pair by Joie. I just fell in love initially with this gorgeous laser cut detail and also the way it wraps around your ankle is just so flattering. I think my only hesitation when I bought it was the heel height and it's actually three and three fourths inches and that's typically a lot higher than I usually go for. I tend to stick around the two to maybe three inches. So this was already a stretch and unfortunately I just didn't get to wear it as often as I would have liked. Also for my lifestyle, just going forward, I just don't see myself wearing this that often. So that is why, sadly, I will be parting with them. So for the items I'm donating, I will be putting them all in trash bags. And then I'll be selling, I'll be creating a listing for each one on Poshmark. And I love the fact that it only takes a few minutes to create one. And you can easily shop all of them under my closet. I also think it feels good when your closet is organized, but also when it's aesthetically pleasing. And a part of that is for me transitioning my hangers to be a uniform set of hangers. I think visually it just looks a lot cleaner. And I have been trying out different types of hangers for a while. And these are the ones that I used to use, which I thought was my temporary solution, were just the free thin ones from the dry cleaners. I think these actually allowed me to pack in more clothes, but I found these which I really love because they actually have these non-slips at the corner as well as the middle so I can hang up both shirts as well as pants and it won't slide off easily. And also, even when your clothes are wet, I think the plastic ones are great so it doesn't get damaged by it. So right now, I'm in the process of transitioning all my pieces to these types of hangers. And now moving on to the organization part, which is actually my favorite. So far I have organized a section where all my blouses and blazers and anything that will get wrinkled will go. And these tend to be my workwear pieces. So I started a section for my handbags where I want to display a few of them that I love as well as the ones that I will be using. And that's what I've done so far, and what I think I'll do is another video that will show you guys the full closet once I've finished organizing, and it'll be easier to talk through my organization process then. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as a reminder, make sure to check out the link below to download the Poshmark app, as well as check out my closet for the items that I've listed for sale. If you already have an account on Poshmark, make sure to let let me know in the comments below your closet name so I can check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!